This is Lily. She is a leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest sea turtles in the world. Lily is a big girl. I mean, very big. She's about 2 meters long and weighs over 250 kilograms. Although Lily is not the biggest in her family, she is definitely the greediest. Lily loves to eat jellyfish. She says that they are even better than that thing that humans love to eat called chocolate. A normal leatherback sea turtle needs to eat 50 to 70 percent of its body weight in food every day. But Lily? She can eat 100 percent of her body weight in food every single day. So imagine an adult human being who weighs 70 kilograms eating 70 kilograms of food in one day. Amazing. But how does Lily find all this food? You're probably asking yourself. Lily is quite clever and she knows all the best spots to find yummy jellyfish. But it's not always so easy. Lily often needs to travel long distances to find dinner. She once traveled for almost two years from Indonesia all the way to America just to find the tastiest jellyfish. Lily made all sorts of friends during her travels. Some of her friends are also her distant relatives, like the green sea turtles. They are very gentle and beautiful. Other friends are seabirds. They are cute, but very noisy at times. And she made friends with whales, who Lily thinks are the gentle giants of the ocean. During one of her travels, she even met a handsome leather backseat turtle called Mr. Wright. It was love at first sight, and soon they made little lovely leathery babies. One day, Lily grew hungry and began eating lots of delicious jellyfish, one after the other. She couldn't get enough, she ate and ate until she felt a weird taste in her mouth. This jellyfish didn't taste so nice, but she swallowed it anyway. Lily went on, traveling and eating. But soon she began to notice something bad had happened in the ocean. Not just sea turtles, but her other friends like seabirds, whales and fish were all in trouble as well. Seabirds couples were accidentally feeding their babies completely indigestible food. Green sea turtles became angry because they felt sick and fish and whales were also complaining that they felt sick in their tummies. Oh, my tummy is hurting as well, Lily realized. Hmm, you must have eaten the plastic by mistake too. Well, told Lily. What is plastic? Lily asked. Well, it's a kind of human-made rubbish. Really nasty stuff that doesn't go away. Well, said. Plastics are impossible for us to digest. Many of my friends have died because they ate plastics accidentally. After listening to Whale, Lily finally understood what was going on. For decades, humans have been dumping lots and lots of plastics in the ocean. Plastics of all shapes, sizes and colors. Plastic bags, cups, packaging materials, nets and more. More than 5 million tons of plastic waste enter the ocean every year and the amount is increasing. This is equivalent to the weight of 50 aircraft carriers, imagine that. And since plastic waste can go anywhere with ocean currents, no sea creature is safe. Much of this plastic is eaten by mistake. The result is that animals cannot feed properly because their stomach and intestines become clogged. Much of this plastic is eventually broken down into microscopic bits which are not even visible to the naked eye. This microplastic debris is even more problematic as it is consumed by small fish and shrimps which are then eaten by bigger fish which are in turn eaten by even bigger fish and these fish eventually are eaten by us, humans. And this is not good because plastic releases toxic chemicals. At last, Whale reminded Lily that she should be careful with her food because plastic bags look very similar to jellyfish. 
He warned her that if she eats too much, her gut will become clogged and she might die. Luckily, Lily didn't eat too many plastic bags. The plastic bags that are in her stomach will make her feel sick, but they won't kill her. Unfortunately, not all marine animals are as lucky as her. Take her babies, for example. They are young and inexperienced. They cannot tell what are plastic bags and what are jellyfish. So the ocean is a very dangerous place for them. Overall, the situation is bad. The ocean and the life it supports have never been in so much trouble. However, it's not too late to protect marine life from plastic. If you want to save Lily and her babies, there are many things that you can do for them. Here are some very simple actions that you can take. Recycle, reduce and reuse. Recycle everything that is recyclable, but better avoid single-use plastic products. And if something is made of plastic, ask yourself, do I really need this? Can I find a better alternative that is not made of plastic and is reusable? You can be a positive example for those around you and inspire them to make a change. Finally, join and support the organizations and programs that are pressuring governments to ban single-use plastics. The louder we are, the more impact we'll have. The future of Lily, her babies and her friends is in your hands.